Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, you, you can subscribe to Graphic Online on YouTube, and uh, you can subscribe, and you don't have to pay uh, for subscription. You just have to punch the bell mark on, on your YouTube, and it will come to you directly, and you don't have to uh, go through somebody else. But this morning, I'd like to talk about uh, the price of the idol. The price of the idol. That is the price we pay for being idle. And um, in, in the book of Second Samuel, uh, chapter 11, verse 2, there is a, a very powerful story over there. Second Samuel, chapter 11. Um, the, the Bible began by saying, when kings go forth to battle, when kings go forth to battle, David stayed in Jerusalem. And for me, that was just what caught my fancy. The price of the idol. I mean, it was time for kings to go to battle. So every normal king was going to battle. And everybody was, 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 was going to battle. That is to take more lands, to gain more territories, to gain more um, spoils of war. The Bible said when it was time for David to go to battle as a king, he should be at the battlefield. He should be in, in, in a serious position. He should be in, 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 in the midst of war. He should be in the midst of, uh, of, 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 of serious warfare. The Bible said he stayed and he paid a price for being idle. And that's what I want to speak to you this morning. Listen, it was that day, it was that time. That was when he met uh, Bathsheba. Remember, walking idle on, on, the, on the rooftop, you know, and then that was when he looked down and then he saw um, Bathsheba bathing and then I'm sure he took a second look and then, and then, and then, and then. You know the story after that. Now, it was time for kings to go forth to battle. It was a serious time, but guess what? He played the idol card. And uh, when we were kids, they always say, Satan always finds jobs for idle hands. Sometimes when there are things that need to be done and you refrain from doing it and you walk in the, in the, in the valley of the idol, you pay a price for it. Either missed opportunities or you're going to get yourself involved in situations that in the end you pay a price for it. This is exactly what happened to David. Satan always finds jobs for idle hands. And the Bible says, work for the night is coming when no one can work anymore. So there's a time coming where we'll not be able to do the work. There's something that must be done. There's work that must be done for God. There's work that you must fulfill. There's a purpose you must fulfill. Don't be idle because idle comes with a price. And the price of the idol is extremely high. David, he didn't even know what was going to happen. But he being idle and not going to war, saw somebody's wife, slept with Bathsheba, and then from there on, he killed somebody, and then he had a prophetic uh, disgrace. Somebody came and prophesied to him in public, and he had to go through a whole lot of, you know, uh, mourning and repentant process, and then uh, the, the little child that was conceived died, and, and all sorts of the, I mean, uh, because of what he had done, uh, his, his son too raped his daughter, and then another son killed, I, I mean, the, the, it was just, a, it just spiraled out of control. It was an avalanche, and it was a, 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 I mean, a snow, snowball effect, and there was very little he could do with it. The price of the idol. If David had known that not going to war was going to cost him all these things, he's going to get up and go to war quick like that. But you see, Sometimes the enemy has ways and means of lulling us into the idol. And then after it, after he has lulled us into that place, make us pay a price, demands the price for the idol. Listen, 
Don't walk in idleness. It's not the best for you. Do something. I don't say rest. Yes, rest. But make sure that you are not idle because the enemy finds work for idle hands. There's always a price for the idol. You don't want to pay it. See you next time.